Eastern Cape Health MEC Cindy Gomba was yesterday released on bail after appearing in the East London Magistrates Court. Gomba and 11 others face charges relating to corruption, money laundering, fraud and contravention of the Municipal Finance Management Act. They are implicated in the misappropriation of funds meant for the late former President Nelson Mandela's memorial service. We're joined now by Nehawu's Eastern Cape Provincial Secretary, Miki Jatpeni, excuse me, to get their stance on this. So what is the Eastern Cape branch of Nehawu's stance on Health MEC Gomba having been charged formally by the NPA? Thank you. Thank you to you and the viewers. Uh, our stance is that uh, uh, we have been observing that uh, the MEC has been uh, appearing in court for charges that dates back to 2013. And uh, probably some of our mistakes is to think that uh, uh, when the case has been struck off the roll, uh, the case has been uh, uh, dismissed and therefore there will be nothing that will compel you to come back again. But uh, it has been proven to us that the NPA is saying there are new, there's new evidence of which we respect uh, the rule of law and the natural justice that uh, the MEC, Ms. Gomba, uh, is, uh, uh, is not guilty until proven so by the competent court. But what is our uh, view about her involvement in the sector, in the health sector? Because we, we have been observing uh, some, some, some inconsistencies in the manner in which she has been doing things in the department. So we have uh, uh, had some patience about her manner of, uh, of rolling out some of the programs that are there. And we have been wanting to meet with her for quite some time. So what do you think but should happen to what, her in the interim? No, what we are calling for is for the sacking of the MEC and the bringing in of an acting MEC until the matter has been concluded by the competent courts. Because we cannot have uh, the, the attention uh, of uh, of the of the MEC divided. I'm just going to clarify. I, I do apologise for interrupting you. You used the word sacking, which to me means firing. Are you saying she should be fired um, or that she should be suspended? I just want to get that clarification. That that is the call of the premier. It's not for us to say, but uh, but the premier should know what is the right thing to do, because in this department we cannot have. A, a, an undivided attention of the head of political uh, a, a party uh, that must be uh, give uh, that must give direction uh, about the rolling out of the vaccine that must lower the curve of the of the pandemic that must also deal with the effects of the variant. Whereas he will be uh, uh, called upon to uh, justify his uh, her appearing in courts by the members of public. And I mean by, by the media and many other people. So what we are saying, we cannot afford to have that situation in the Eastern Cape. So what the Premier must do, must do the most honourable thing and take Ms. Gomba so that the person that will come to the department can focus on the core functions of the department and the real challenges that are there in the department. The Eastern Cape is hugely under-resourced and the, the portfolio that Ms. Gomba heads up, health portfolio, even more so. What's your view on those in power who dare to loot under such dire circumstances? No, people must know that the law will always take its course because nobody knew that the case of 2013 can just resurface now. So we, we should send a clear message that people must not take the, the taxpayers' money for their own benefit. What we are saying is that let Ms. Gomba to focus on her case. Uh, whether you deploy or redeploy her to another uh, sphere of governments, uh, but because we know that uh, the, the Eastern Cape Department of Health is under-resourced and we need everybody to add value and to, to make sure that we, we capacitate some of the uh, areas that are in need of uh, e, 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 the, the capacity. But 
For now, we know that that would not be the case because she will be called in and out in courts to, to answer for her uh, deeds, and we, we do not want that to, 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 to happen. So that's why we are saying to the uh, Premier, the Premier must intervene before this matter can get out of uh, hand uh, to, to, to other uh, proportions. So we are saying, for now, we know that Ms. Gomba is still innocent until proven mm. guilty, but she cannot continue to, to, to execute her uh, political and organizational duties in the department. You have said that there were a number of governance issues within her portfolio that you wanted to question uh, that didn't look like they were entirely as they should be. Are you going to have those issues investigated? No, definitely. There, there's a, there are a number of things. There's the scooter debacle uh, and many other things. And also now we are told that our CHWs cannot be appointed because there's no money. We are told now that the, the contracts of the people that were assisting in the rollout plan of the vaccine will not have their contracts re, uh, renewed because there's no money. So those are things that are closer to the hearts of, of, of our members. Therefore, we cannot allow uh, somebody who will be faced with very serious charges to continue uh, in that department. Well, thank you very much. That was Nahau's Eastern Cape Provincial Secretary, Mikita Kaini.